the show. You're watching Low Country Money Talk. There's a lot to discuss. Our resident expert, Phil Bloyd, is at the desk today, and we've got a lot of questions. You're with Revolutionary Financial Group, and man, am I glad to see you. Good to see you, Jessa. Lots to discuss. Lots you ready? to go over. Let's do it. Okay. Can we All start right. current events? Sure. It's a great place to start. Like we want to kind of events. get caught up to speed, and mm -hmm. you always have so much great information for right. us. New Year. I want to talk a little bit about how things are looking. Okay. Uh, the market started up. Still some talk of a recession. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some layoffs. How does this all play in sure. and what does it mean for us? Okay. So, so far as of today, the market's up for the year. Maybe we can uh, stay that way. Some people say that the way January goes, so goes the year. So hopefully, uh, you know, we can, we can finish January up. We'll see. You know, these days we're kind of up and down. Um, recession talk still, yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, things are still expensive. There's still a worker shortage. Every place is understaffed. And then these layoffs. So layoffs may not necessarily be a bad thing for your investment portfolio because that means the company is actually cutting expenses so that they can re retain profits. That's um, so counterintuitive to me though, Phil. Like you, you think of layoffs, you mm -hmm. think bad, you think yeah. scary and, and not good financially, mm -hmm. but actually it's not for so bad necessarily for the you investments. You know, that's more of an right. economic, right. you know, that's a sign of the economy. But as companies, you know, if you see a company report and the, and the company comes out and says, yeah, you know, we, we had a great report, but we're expecting, you know, things not to be so great this next year. And they address it by saying, okay, we're laying off 18,000 people to right. cut expenses. Right. You know, usually investors like that That's because they're like, for the company. you know, you're, it's going to lower the expense. Maybe they can uh, maintain the profit and that helps with dividends and such. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Definitely to look at it that way, right. uh, especially those of you who are in retirement and, and looking at those portfolios closely right now. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of that, you know, we're still feeling kind of that energy of the new year. Yes. People have their new year's resolutions oh. and we might be still kind <laughs> of motivated. Yes. Right. So let's talk financial health sure. and some moves maybe we mm -hmm. can make now at the start of the year. Mm -hmm. What is your advice? Well, first thing, you know, it's a new year. Uh, you're looking at maybe your physical health. I uh, want to tighten the belt. So let's tighten the belt on finances a little bit. Let's see what our budget is. Let's see what our income plan says. Let's make sure that our uh, budget isn't at a level that doesn't match our income plan. Right. You know, so we, you know, we don't want to put it on a credit card or something like that, right? So let's look at our income plan, make sure we have enough in our emergency fund. If we don't need any large ticket things right now, I would suggest maybe we put those off for a bit. Yeah, until, that's you know, tricky. Things kind of <laughs> settle in a little bit. Right. Um, you're getting ready to prepare your taxes, or, so let's look and see how much we've got going out in taxes and where we're taking money from, and maybe we can trim that up a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe want to do a review and see uh, what we're looking at as far as our uh, investment expenses. Right. Maybe we can cut those some. I feel like it's a good time to do that. Just, you know, you're already sort of in the weeds planning for taxes mm -hmm. and gathering things. Mm -hmm. So why not gather up your yeah. financial information and take a hard look at it, right? Let's get it all done early and Let's, we can enjoy the rest of the year, right? I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, I love like your that. ideas. Right. Okay. So for those of you who are watching or in or near retirement, you know, it, it's a good time to have a plan, an sure. income plan, a retirement plan, and just review all of this. Need to, think? yeah. And you know what I would say, if you're, if you're listening to me right now and you don't have an income plan or your income plan needs work, I invite you to call now so that my team can help you. Create a budget, uncover your main risks uh, that may pose a threat to your retirement. Learn about the options for creating income in retirement. Your retirement could be as long or longer than your career, so position uh, some of your assets for the long term. So now's the time to do that wealth review. Yeah. So you want to call in and, and get that taken care of. Absolutely. Revolutionary uh, income analysis. No obligation. That's what's nice, mm -hmm. too. If you want to take advantage of Phil's offer, it's a great time to do that. There is no obligation, so you can have him take a look. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, a good client for, for you folks is someone who has $500,000 or more in right. investable assets. So that's nice to know, mm -hmm. you know, where you need to come in. But give them a call. Call Rachel, 941-7791. I like your number. It's yeah. just easy. All right, guys. Rolls we off have the top. a lot more after the break. You ready? Yes. Lots to discuss? Mm -hmm. Let's do that in just a moment. Stick with us. Hey, look at that. We went to break. We came back. We ditched the chairs. No that chairs. means we're going to have some fun. I'm looking let's forward have some to fun. it. So I was talking to Phil on the break uh, a little bit about some of the viewer questions that we covered on the last segment. And we're going to break it down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that'd be good to do. So in case you're just tuning in, there were some viewer questions. Last one was, you know, really about when you do enter retirement, about some of those changes that you need to make. Sure. And some of those changes, mm -hmm. in fact, a really important factor has to do with risk. Yes. And you explain it so well, Phil. Mm -hmm. And I want you to do that for our viewers okay. today, if you would. Let's, let's take a look at this. First of all, when now you are how old now? Or do I need to say, oh, I'm 65 in this example, <laughs> Not right? I'm 65. I was, okay. I was like, wait, am I going to tell people my <laughs> yeah, age? Right. Yeah, okay, I'm okay. retired, right? <laughs> so, you know, the first thing you want to look at is income pays the bills. So yep. we got to make sure we have enough income. Yep. Right? So the first thing we want to look at, ask, are you taking Social Security? Well, maybe you start at 62, you know, whatever. But let's say we've got $2,300 a month coming in in Social Security. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, maybe receive a pension from the firm that you work That'd for or the nice. company. So we have a pension here. So uh -huh. maybe the pension is, I don't know, $2,000 a month. Okay. Okay. You're not, you're 65, so you don't really have required minimum distribution yet. Okay. Some people, right now that's 73, but so for now we don't have any there. Uh, you may have some investment income that comes in. Uh, you might have some rental property, some, you know, some gains from that or something. We'll say we've got, I don't know, let's say $500 a month coming in from there. Uh, we may have some dividends in our investment portfolio, something like that. Maybe we have, you know, 500 a month coming in from there. So then this is the income that we're working with. Okay. So 43, about 5,300. Okay. So remember we talked in the previous section, we said, Hey, you know, what about that budget? Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, about that? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe your budget is $4,000 a month. Uh -huh. Okay. So we're in pretty good shape. All right. Then, so right? that looks good. Yeah. We, now if it's the other way around, maybe we've got some we need work. issues there. Yeah. So then we've got our expenses are about 4,000 a month. We've got uh, 5,300 a month coming in, so we've got a little bit of discretionary, you know, maybe another 1,300. Okay. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Now we have to establish our emergency fund. Right. You know, in case, uh, you know, we need a new stove. Now, I prefer gas stoves. Okay. I know there's been some controversy about that. <laughs> yeah, right that's right. Okay. But that emergency, okay, so what does that need to look like okay, at 65? Okay, so, you know, let's do six months expenses here. Uh -huh. So we want about 24,000 in the emergency fund. The reason oh, we don't wow. want to put too much in the emergency fund is usually that's going to get a pretty low rate of return. Okay. Uh, so there's a trade out. Well, that's more than I was for thinking. Money. So, yeah. but I got you. Okay. Six months expenses, so, yes. not income. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. You know, and the budget would also include taxes. You know, whatever your taxes. Are. Right. Okay. Okay. So we've got all that covered. So let's say we take care of all that, and we're going to say, oh wow, you know, there's a million dollars there. Okay, this is what I would call the investable income. Right. So this is like, Phil, what are we going to do with this? Right. And I say, well, in the, in the current situation with market and things, let's just stick to that rule of 100 for now. Yes. I mean, you might think it's a little old or primitive, but uh, in this genius, market. It's if you ask me. In this market, it's not so bad. Okay? Yeah, and it's so, simple. So you're age 65. So basically, I don't want to put more then 35%, you know, at risk or higher risk, uh -huh. okay? Okay. So the 35%, that's going to leave us about 350000 Right. Are that's, you getting that at home? Because it's that simple math of you, the rule of 100, you take your age and subtract that, yeah. and that's well, how much you want at, at high risk, right? Right. So make sure we covered that because it's go. so simple, but it's so smart. And then on the lower side, you know, we want the other part. Now we can adjust that later 
with markets changing mm -hmm. or whatever. But right now, I would recommend that we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. Okay. So, you know, there's a lot of breakdowns. Okay, what type of investments and all that? Not, we don't have time for that right now, but just understand, you know, we want this on the low risk side. Okay, this will take care of this while the market's doing this. Okay, so this is great information for, for viewers. What's a good way to start and just find out a little sure. bit more about our retirement? Jessa, let's start out with the booklet that we have. It's okay. called Changing, The Changing Story of Retirement on my website. Yes. If you wanna go and download that book, that's a good place to start and then we can move forward from there. Yeah, we, we mentioned it earlier in the show, but it is, it's a great, it's a 24 page read, lots of great we, information. Mm -hmm. Go to the website, check it out. Right. See us next time. It doesn't have to be <laughs> complex. It doesn't, it's simple. Watch Low Country Money Talk too. Uh, our next show will be coming up soon. We appreciate you, we'll see you next time. Welcome back to Low Country Money Talk. Phil with Revolutionary Financial Group is here, and we had a great discussion sure. before the break, mm -hmm. and actually during the break as well, yeah. which we all often do. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, we're talking a little bit about current events in our in our first segment. Mm -hmm. uh, I do want to expand on some of that discussion, okay. Phil. Sure. I know there's a lot of viewers at home who are either you know relatively newly retired or maybe you're about to retire and mm -hmm. this market is making you nervous. So yes. let's discuss that because there are some steps mm -hmm. that viewers can take to arrange their retirement portfolio in a way that is going to serve them in this market right. this time and I don't know what that is so I need your help all right Jessa let's let's think for a second first of all let's make sure we have enough money to retire that's important okay let's check our budget let's check our expenses you know we don't want to uh, run out the gate now a lot of people are going to be uh, laid off so you know they may get to the point where they don't have much choice right you know um, because there's a lot of layoffs coming unfortunately so that's something to consider. Mm -hmm. uh, but if we are in good shape and we're ready to retire, uh, then we need to understand that now that we're retired, things are much different right. than when we were working. Right. So when we were working, we discussed this at break is, you know, maybe I have a 401k and I have, it come, I have a deduction coming out of my paycheck every two weeks or, you know, however it's set up. And there's some matching funds for my employer, right? Yeah. Okay, so I retire, that's over. So I've automatically had all this dollar cost averaging going on all my working career. And I've accumulated, and over the time, I'm like, yeah, you know, sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down. And we don't worry about it so much in that period of right. life. Well, we've got the employer match that helps. Yes. And we have fresh money going in there every pay period. Absolutely. Well, that's over now. Yeah. So I always tell yep. people what we've got now has to last. Right. So in this very uh, turbulent, volatile uh, market that we're in, cautious we should be very cautious. And so it would be better to make sure based upon our age and some different uh, income factors that we had uh, uh, quite a bit in low risk and then the appropriate amount in the, in right. the higher in risk the higher. type. So not only do we no longer have, we're not stashing that money away, we don't have the match anymore, mm -hmm. but also we're older at yeah. this phase of life. Sure. So a whole nother thing to consider. Right. And you know, when we look at a bear market, typically the S&P 500 index in a bear market uh, may go down as much as 35 to 40%. And if we look at 2008 as an example, it took uh, five years for that index just to break even. And if I'm taking income out of my investments and that they go down 40% in value and I'm still taking income. We don't have time for that. we got a big right. problem. Yeah, so right. we want to make sure that we have the right amount at risk. Mm -hmm. And then we have, I, I would be even be a little bit more cautious now. And, and even if, if I was supposed to have a certain amount at risk, I might even pull back on that right now right. under these market conditions. Yeah, and you were explaining that to me on the break too, because counterintuitive for me, I would think, you know, go ahead and, and 
put it all in on something that you feel good about, but you're saying, oh, <laughs> no, That's, okay, this is why I'm not doing this, we'll and put you are. The, all of our <laughs> chips on, on the black. Yeah. Two. I don't know if the two's black or red, but we don't put them all. We yeah. don't want to do that. Okay, so little, you know, so little by little. Little by little. I think we still stick with that dollar cost average. Yeah. You know, so little by little, as the market, you know, kind of goes back up because it still may pull back some. I've learned a lot from you. But I still have a yeah. lot to learn, right. so that's okay because we've got more shows. Okay. Uh, there's a free booklet that yeah. is really exciting. Uh, yeah. well, share with us a little sure. bit. I have a booklet called. The Changing Story of Retirement on my website. Uh, you can download it free at revolutionaryfinancial.com and that'll help you, you know, if you're in, even in retirement or you're close to retirement, you may want to take it, a look at that. Yeah, you're going to love this actually. I, I highly recommend it. Revolutionaryfinancial.com. It's 24 pages, so mm -hmm. it's not an epically large read, but it's got great information about sure. taxes and uh, expectations, planning tips, uh, so it's perfect. Yeah, some of the best plans are simple. So, I love that. You know what else I love? After the break, we're going to do viewer questions. Yes. One of my favorite things to do. I know it's our viewers too, so stick with All us. Right. We'll be right back. It's the halfway point, folks, of the show. This is Low Country Money Talk. Phil Boyd is here. Still. Still. I think I've said that every segment. Phil Boyd's here. You're yeah, still here. I'm, I'm still so here. I will leave in a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, well, but not half, yet. We have half a show left. That's right. This might be my favorite part because there's viewer questions that we're going to mm -hmm. read and Phil's going to answer on the spot. So I think this is really fun because sure. these are great questions, I like actually. It. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Absolutely. I feel like this is Why a game not? show. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 31 years I've heard these questions. You know, you know yes. what to do. Yeah. All right, here's one from a viewer that says, I'm less than a year away from retiring. Mm -hmm. I have retirement accounts and I've been working with an advisor for years. I guess I have never considered how taxes will affect oh. me once I start taking my withdrawals. Ooh. How will I be taxed? And this is actually something we've talked about on the show, uh, the impact that taxes sure. have. So, But this is a changing situation. You will be taxed heavily. Yeah. And frequently. And fre Great. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> so basically, we've, uh, you know, people get these deferred accounts uh, in their mind uh, miscalculated so in, in my experience so we were told years ago look hey you know you're getting a tax savings you put this away but really the terminology is you're deferring your tax right you saved it now now you got to pay for it later right. later is here not only do you have to pay taxes on what you put aside you have to pay taxes on 40 years of market gain Great. News. so you're Sorry, dollar for dollar. So yeah. when we take a dollar out of this account, that dollar has never been taxed. So we're, we're hoping that the government is going to be friendly to us. Uh-huh. And uh, that's... You know, I'm from the I'm government. I'm here to help you. Just give me your <laughs> wallet, right? Yeah. So How many eggs are we going to put we, in that We basket? put all this money away not really knowing what... Because the tax code changes. Right, right. So... You know, most people would think, Jessa, that income taxes are going to go up and be higher in the future, probably because we're sitting on $31.5 trillion in debt, That's okay? Mm. The interest on the debt, I look, you might check this out, usdebtclock.org, oh, and it'll show you how much debt, how much revenue, and interest on the debt. I checked the other day, the interest on the debt from fis fiscal year October last year is over $500 billion as of today. Oh my God. That's and the interest rates interest. are going up, right? right yeah. So that's going to go up. That's not going to get so better. Uh -huh. The debt clock will continue to run. So just remember, I have this huge amount of money that I haven't paid taxes on yet. And it will be taxed dollar for dollar. So, you know, we talk about Roth conversions, why the market's down, mm -hmm. so we can settle up some of the taxes. Uh, we have a decent tax code now that expires 
at the end of tax year 2025. Yes. And then we don't know what the tax rate's going to be. So, you know, a known thing helps us. Go ahead. Let's get to okay, another Okay, I was going to say, do we have time for yeah, number one? Another. I like this one. Uh, some of our viewers might resonate with this. I'm 63 years old. Mm -hmm. All my life I've been investing consistently, including in my 403B at work, which I had to learn what that yes. was on the break. Right. My current advisor says I'm doing great and not to worry about retirement but I feel like it's time for a more solid plan. What should I do? Sure. So the one thing we talk about, if I'm five years from retirement, okay, maybe I start pulling that risk factor down some, okay? Two years, one years, maybe I pull that risk factor way down mm -hmm. because uh, what I've accumulated, you know, over time, if we have a big sell-off, I think we spoke about this before, and I'm up here, I've got yeah. all this money and the dollar cost averaging and the matching and all that stops. This is really at risk, so I ne yeah. really need to be careful. So I might seek out an advisor that understands and works with retirees. Right. And maybe he's not, you know, a lot of people get wrapped up into financial planning and all this stuff. They forget about the distribution. Yeah. How am I going to get this money out? You need a, a retirement financial yeah. planner. You really Somebody that's used to working with, with retirees. Yes. And I don't know if this is common knowledge. A 403B is similar to a 401K. I did yeah. not know that. Usually nonprofits, but. you know, they would have a 403B instead of a 401K. Okay. Usually. Yeah, that makes so, sense. Okay. You know, not all professional help is the same. Yes. And I'm an independent, local, and fiduciary advisor. So what that means, I'm required by law to manage my client's money properly for the benefit of them, not me. Right. So that's a very important thing, I think, as we wrap this up. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, don't you want somebody that's local and that is going to put your best interests first, not the interests of another company? That's important to me. I, mm -hmm. I think that's really great. And it's a great time to uh, have people, have them take a look at your financial picture. Uh, it's called a revolutionary wealth review. And you can do that with no obligation. There's no cost to doing the review. So a great time to call, take advantage of the offer that Phil and his team is uh, allowing for our viewers. Call Rachel and and uh, do that. You do want to have investable assets of $500,000 or more to be able to take advantage of that. That's a great client for Revolutionary Financial Group. And you are great viewers for us because mm -hmm. we got one more for you after the break. Stick around. Mm -hmm.